Okay, guys, so to finish up the last weekend in Sweden, I would just say I was happy about Miss B. I didn't expect to be up there in the top three, top five. We had been doing our homework really good with the engines and all the setups we have been testing around. Uh, unfortunately, I had a little engine failure Saturday that cost my race engine. As you can see here, I'll pick it up for you. The little knob that should be on the spark plug is missing. And that caused my bike to... I don't know what to say in English, but to clog up. Like, wow. So, currently sitting here in the workshop. This is my practice bike. Race engine. Gotta mix up some bikes today with some suspension. And yeah, it's Friday today. We have the first round of the Danish Championship. Sunday at my old home track. So I've really, really been looking forward to this. Unfortunately, the engine failure was not the only thing that happened this weekend. As you can see here, I got this mounted on my leg. My inside ligament is torn. Not allowed to be on the bike for 8 to 12 weeks. So, yeah, what you gonna do about it? We're gonna line up. We're gonna race. We're gonna see how many points we can get. It's seven rounds. If I can salvage just some top 10, top five places, it would be good for the point situation. We have been calculated a little bit on the point system. And if I'm not there this weekend, just to take a little bit points, it would not be possible to clinch the title and then. So we gotta go out there. We're gonna do the best out of it. For sure, I'm really bummed about it. A lot of friends and family is stopping by because it's my kind of home race. So yeah also for the sponsors and the people that have been believing in me that i couldn't come back and do some some serious about this title so yeah that's how it is race bike race engine is completely torn apart the only bike that's ready is my practice bike so i have a brand new bike in the van outside we're gonna take that bike in we're gonna swap that engine into the race bike and then later today i hope the male guy is coming with my race parts so i can rebuild the engine and get this bike back to race bike it's not that easy to walk around with this fuck on wrenching bikes but at least i'm painless at the moment not too much too much pains in the leg right now as you can see guys i just picked up the brand new bike here so this engine it's gonna be in that bike and this engine i'm gonna repair it before i swap it back in the race bike but we have to change some clutches and stuff like that and the reason why i just don't gonna race this bike this weekend is because of all my suspension setup my bars my levers everything Plus that I don't like new frames. I like the frame after like three to five hours. So it has been softened up a little bit. And right now, this bike just hit the perfect number. Four hours. So yeah, just got comfortable to ride on, feeling home on it. So don't want to mess everything, anything up for the weekend with taking a new bike. So let's get to work. New bike has the engine out. It's right here. So we're starting now to swap the clutch and stuff in from the other race engine that's here. So just have to clean it first with some body clean. As you can see, the clutches have actually been slipping a little bit. So it's tough with these, these really fast engines to not have the clutch swapping. <clears throat> Yeah, a little bit of work in front of me, but sun is shining, it's great weather, racing in the weekend, hopefully it's going to be a good one. Good morning guys, Sunday, race day, first round of the Danish Championship on almost home soil, we have been sleeping at home, 
Pretty nice. Dean is calling me out here. Oi! Oh. <laughs> Putting some stuff on. Some stuff on. Some gris mailing in the face. So, yeah, almost ready. Only need to pack up my goggle bag. Cars is at the track, tent is up. Only have this fuck right here to deal with. Not quite sure how we're gonna do it yet, but yeah, my cousin is a doctor. He gave me some good advices. I have been going to treatments all week. Let's see if we could get this better. I hope it worked. I have been sitting down as much as possible, but yeah, as you guys know, it's not the most easiest thing in the world. When you're a racer, you watch John, just wants to do something. So bike is ready. Let's see if I'm ready. Family is coming today. Some friends is coming. I'm a little bit bummed about this, especially on this track. Because, yeah, nobody wants to see uh, a guy just riding around out there and not push. So hopefully I can put on a good show, even I'm injured and go for some top spots. Ta-da! It's getting better now. It's getting better? You say you wanted some curls. I can do some curls for you. Well, perfect. Really nice. Yeah, it looks good now. <laughs> this is your toolbox. This is my toolbox. I have three toolboxes. Talky for the spokes. For the spokes? Yeah, yeah. Good luck this with a, that. This is the toolbox, you said. Color pin for the fenders. Cleaning brush. Everything you need. Just let me know. You got everything. And in the next vlog, we might have something exciting. Goodbye. Exciting news. Oh, exciting news? You thought you wanted to pick me up, make up on me? No, no. <laughs> it's your new ligament. It's my new ligament. <laughs> At least to support it. How do you feel today? Sore. <laughs> and that I pissed I can't keep my routines up, but that's how it is. Uh-huh. So good day Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't want to be a part of it. <laughs> Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is it this way? Cause I got good vibe I ain't right there Never been a bitch Now nah, I don't complain Just gotta put the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your eyes got the key Ingredients Believe me They were seeing The negativity But I just slide right by
some coffee and he's ready how was the time qualifying oh, it was okay it was okay didn't feel comfortable is it actually we'll take it with us <laughs> how's the knee that hurts Shit. What? it hurts more to not get any points yeah it's <laughs> just to yeah, we, we are here to make the best out of it, but we got to fight for everything that is possible. Yeah. yeah. We're not going to make any stupid mistakes and stuff like that. But just be careful. Yeah, exactly. Just be careful. And, and bring it home safe. Yeah.
Mathias Jørgensen!